Okay, we're starting off with Sylvanas today. Right? Yeah. Because we finally won with Sobek. Now, we have to win with Sylvanas because if I don't win with Sylvanas, I have to go back to Sobek. So that's our incentive to win. I didn't realize they weren't locked in yet, so I'll just cut this part out. And we're up against Ymir, okay, and they have a plat border. Uh, I would have never expected to see two Guardian matches in a row. Now, the thing about Ymir, or er, Guardian versus Guardian, when it's against Ymir, 99% of the chance Ymir is going to win. With most Guardians. However, like for example, Kumba versus Ymir. Ymir wins that almost every single time. But, with Sylvanas, I'm ranged. I have Protection Shred. And I can go Demonic Spear and just shred him. Now that's pretty much our best hope. I think I'll go Beads just in case he goes horrific. And if he doesn't go horrific, it's still for his freeze. I would say that I would prefer to fight a Hunter than Ymir. Because as Sylvanas, his whole strength is poking squishy gods at a distance. And being able to chunk them with Hunter's Blessing, but... Against Ymir, I can't do that as well. This will be a more of a fun match, though. Because Sylvanas doesn't play quite like the other Guardians. Just because he does go pure auto-attacking and does have range. So this will play more like Ymir versus a Hunter. Alright, let's see if I can take this. Oh. And he has red buff now. Which is great. I got half his health, but honestly, that's not even worth it. And he did get horrific. He went to Rainian start. So it's a good thing I got beads. Sprint would have been good as well. Sprint second rel could be great. Get some poke. Good. Got a qu three quarters of his health. I could just go straight for his blue buff. That way we can somehow get ahead. It does take Savannah a long time to take buffs though. But since I went to it right away, I might be able to take it. Look how long this is taking though. No, that really sucks. And now he's gonna pop his horrific. Maybe not. But now my bees are down, he has this horrific up. This is bad. I wasn't able to get anything off of that uh off of that early back from him. I wasn't able to punish him at all. That's because my clear is so bad. I mean, maybe I can keep poking him and he'll have to back again. But same store, I won't be able to take his blue buff. I got the minis from it. If I can push minions into tower, then it'll be worth it. Right now, I'm ahead in gold. If I can keep him from getting any of this gold. Or he's slightly ahead. And he's just going to back again. Okay. So we'll push minions into tower. And then we will go for our blue buff since I can't take his. Also, he's wasting that red buff because he's not aggressing on me. I feel like at that blue buff, if he used Terrific on me after he used my beats, I would have been in really big trouble because my passive was down too. I was really hoping to take the buff away from him. That would have given us uh, given us two buffs and he would have only taken one. Put aside an XP and gold. I will stay because I'm full mana and almost full health and I can't afford Bancrofts yet. Or boots. I might skip Bancroft's for boots. Oh, pause. I will edit this out. Okay, we're back. Yeah, he's rushing his boots, so I may have to rush my boots as well. 
I don't really have a choice. He went for minis, but he's going to miss out on most of his wave. So I don't think that was worth it for him. No, we got to rush boots. Okay. And plus we get full boots, which is good. 55 power. And of course, some cooldown reduction. Also, oh, I completely forgot to mention the flower I placed. I, I just do it automatically because uh, I've been playing Savannah so much on stream. The flower I placed at blue buff, you can get the flower passive through the wall. That's actually huge. A lot of people don't know that. When I found, first found it out, it was pretty game changing because they have to go all the way around to break it, especially if they're a melee god. You can stand right here. Rado did this to me. You stand right here. When they break the flower, you can pull them into your tower. So it's, it's a nice bait. It pretty much gives you infinite mana and... They, if they're a melee god, they can't get it because it's way too risky. We'll just heal ourselves up. Both have boots. I can attack him since his two is down. Oh, he's going all the way back. That sucks, actually. I'm going to ult him because I don't want him getting close to me with his ult. Plus, if I push him out, I get red buff, so completely worth. More Every little bit of poke here is good. Even if it uses my ultimate. Because here, if he recalls, I'm far enough where I can take the buff. It's not like his blue buff. And he have my beads ready. He's pretty low. He can still kill me. Because Ymir is very scary. Alright, I don't think he's coming over here. If he is, we can just run away. And this, this puts us back in the lead. We're 300 gold to Cold ahead right now. I think that's because he missed out on a huge minion wave a while ago. Oh, I can pick this up because my blue buff just ran out. Okay, we should run here though. I might have to use my beads. Ah, he didn't even hit me. That's fine. I really didn't want to get frozen there though. Again, his horrifics up. My beads are down. But if he had hit me with that freeze. I needed to beat it. <laughs> That's a bad thing about beating whether you wait for their, if they actually hit you or not. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes if they miss it, it just makes you look dumb. So that made me look, made me look dumb. Which is okay. All right. My Hunter's Blessing will evolve before his. That is great. Yeah, this is one of the... I would say Sylvanas makes Guardian vs. Guardian more interesting just because Sylvanas is ranged. A lot of Guardian vs. Guardian is very boring just because you both can't do anything, but Sylvanas can attack towers, poke you out. Um, if he gets caught out, he can die very fast, so it's a little bit more interesting than most Guardian vs. Guardian. Like the last Guardian vs. Guardian, for example, was pretty bad. Oh, it's a good thing he missed me with that. He wasted his horrific. Great. I would have had to ult for CC Mindy had he gone in with a freeze. Even then, I might have messed it up. Good. Go for the pull? Nope. He has a lot of movement speed. Ho oh, ho ho ho, he could have killed me with his ult there. Wow, how much is that? Shards do. 326. Mine does, my one does about 300 damage before mitigations. It does give pen though. And it does have other things, of course. He has a chalice. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna get a chalice this game because I do have healing it in my kit. And it'll give us 300 more gold to spend elsewhere. Most of the time you'll see that I get a chalice when I have 300 gold just in hand. Plus I haven't used my potions yet. Potions are always for the start to out to sustain your opponent, but that doesn't always happen. Sometimes they do it early back, like what you saw, or something like that. Good juke. I had to stand in the ult for the most part, though. Keep him in all tower as long as possible. Ooh, that it does a lot of damage. Hunter's Blessing evolved. If we use our beats properly here, we sh he shouldn't be able to kill me. Okay. I thought I would do a little bit more damage there. That's okay. I, 
can stay longer than him because I have a healing, but he already got red buff, so he has no reason to stay. But his blue buff should be up, so I can pressure blue buff, maybe force him to stay? No, his blue buff's down. Where did he take that? Okay. Well, at least I get minis. And then let's go push the wave before we back. We're back to full health of mana. I'll probably go for a Void Stone because I'm going to go Demonic Spear. And Void Stone works very well with Demonic Spear. Alright. Looks like he's going a Pestilence. That's fine. Sylvanas isn't, doesn't rely on his healing terribly. The healing out of combat's what makes the game changing. The healing in combat's not that big. Alright. Void Stone. Whoops. How much health does Void Stone give? 150? Okay. Your tower is under attack. It used to give more pen. That's when I really liked it. But, of course, it got nerfed. Void Stone, no matter how many nerfs it gets, it always seems to be a decent item to pick up. I don't think it was ever at a point in Duel where Void Stone was, like, OP. It was always like, eh, it's a good pickup. And, but even after all the nerfs they've done to it, it's still in roughly the same place. They've nerfed its power, its pen, I think its protections and health as well. Is he backing already? Okay. So he came to wave and backed instantly. Alright, he's finishing his pestilence. He has to be doing that. He doesn't have so many protections. And I don't have any pen yet. Nope, he didn't finish it. He's staying pretty far back. He hit that? How on earth did he hit that? I have, I don't have my beads up, so I have to either juke his freeze or I'm dead. Nah, but he knows not to go for it. He knows not to go for the freeze just to auto attack me until I die. Because... Here's the thing, if I go start walking away from him, he's guaranteed to hit the freeze. If I stay next to him, he can just keep autoing me until I die. And I always tell people that trick. If someone's juking your freeze, you just keep auto attacking them until they move into your freeze zone. Because you're not going to hit it if they're right next to you, because your mirror's cone is so small. Sucks that it's happening to me, <laughs> but I, there's nothing I can do about that. Alright, so let's get a... Could get a thorns as well, but I think I need to sprint more. Sprint to walk out of his vault. Walk out of his vault, walk out of Serific, all that kind of stuff. And I can't just keep auto attacking him, because if I auto attack, that slows me down, guarantees his freeze as well. Kind of sucks. That's first blood, too. What a late first blood. Uh, fighting Ymir as a guardian sucks. Savannah has a little bit of a chance because he's ranged, but even then. Ymir is just so strong. When you're fighting other gods, like you can use different tools, and they're using different tools, so you can kind of use those different tools to win. But when you're fighting another guardian as a guardian, you're both using the same tools, so whoever has better tools just wins most of the time. So that's why it kind of sucks. That's the way, best way I can describe it. And he's going demonic as well. Oh, he's going to build exactly the same build I would. It takes that so fast. This is not good. There's way more damage than I deal to him. He does has so much movement speed too. Oh my god. This is not fun. <laughs> oh well, I'm trying. I'm trying. He's so tanky. He has 2,100 health. He's two levels ahead of me, too, somehow. I feel like just off of first blood, he shouldn't have been able to get that. That wall is so potent. Now he has buff control as well, which really sucks. Can't let him wall me off. When Ymir goes to right, you kind of just have to let him. Unless you can fight him, because that wall will destroy you. Ymir is weak, somewhat weaker against gods with escapes. He's very strong against gods without escapes. And, of course, I don't have an escape. I 
Dang, he's just winning now. I can't do anything. Even after I get my demonic, I think he's just won one at this point. Demonic plus beer, maybe, but that's another two items. And he's about to get his demonic grip online. I don't see myself coming back. We'll, we're gonna stay in it, of course, because miracles do happen. But I'm just, I'm just telling you guys straight up. Ymir is very strong. It would have been better if we fought a squishy god, even if it was a higher tier god. Like, most hunters probably would have been a better matchup for us. And some mages. He got wards as well. Ah, uh, now he's gonna steal my blue buff? Come on. Now he has demonic grip online. Are you serious? Okay. That's annoying. I can't do anything against those auto attacks. <sighs> he has too much health. It's just frustrating. I can't do anything. I didn't even get a chalice and he's farther ahead in his build. I'm pretty sure is what's some more expensive or cheaper than pestilence. I'm not quite sure. Of course he's a lot of gold ahead of me, but it just it just sucks I lost that lead so fast. Just off that first blood. There's no way I take this unless I ult. Oh my god. These walls. Why did I why did I have to fight Ymir without an escape? This is impossible. This is incredibly annoying. Oh. I can't do it. And just for those wondering, Mage's uh what's it called? Mage's blue cloak? Mage's blood cloak only gives 15 magic protections and the 300 health just is not as helpful it's every 70 seconds it's not good enough it's just not good enough because i know people are going to comment why don't you have mage's cloak it's just it does not give enough protections to count to warrant an item slot if i had an extra item slot it would be pretty decent but i, I don't i don't have enough room in it room in my build for it and of course you got Bull Demon. Three levels down. Can't do anything. <sighs> Just smoosh it in. Would have been way better if we fought a hunter. It was looking like a good game at the start, but now it's now it's just like I I can't I have my demonic grip now, but I don't think it matters. Like, my autos are doing 64 to him. Like, look how fast he is. It's crazy. And his wall, of course. I can't do anything. He's gonna wall me on left. Okay, cool. At least I know Ymir enough to uh, kind of outplay him. Oh, I can't let these minions get in range. Otherwise, the backdoor protections. I can't let these minions get in range. Wow, that wall was the perfect wall. Oh my lord. I couldn't fit through it. What's he even building to Divine Run? <sighs> 2600 health. He has one health item. I can't even build into Soul Reaver on Savannah's properly because I only have two damaging abilities. It's not going to wall me off. Just Best I can do is Titan sit, but Ymir can kill Titan easily. He just walls himself off, alts, and takes it. My bet. I already lost my best chance, which was keeping Phoenix up. He's level nineteen. 
All that from one kill. Cool stuff. That does 154 damage then, like that's nothing. Even after I have my demonic plaid, I'm sure it does barely not barely anything. I don't wanna waste my beads. He walled off his own minion wave, that way he gets two fire minion at waves at once. Yeah, that might actually kill me. <laughs> Great. Oh, the Titans at no HP, this is so dumb, man. He just doesn't even have Paul yet. Don't get me wrong, the new Titan changes overall are better than what they were. But the Titan having no health... <sighs> it's really getting to me. If the respawn timers were different, maybe new Titan changes overall would be pretty, like, better. But I don't know. It's like when you're getting destroyed, there's no comeback potential. And when you're destroying someone, if they get one kill, they win. So, it does. It's a, like, from both points of view, it's kind of not fun. Like, if I get one kill, maybe I could take Tower Phoenix and Titan on one go. And I don't think that would be fun for this Ymir. Oh, he went straight for Bolden. I have no chance. Maybe if I get red buff? Nope. Uh, I'm just gonna get a power potion and make my last stand. Nope, never mind. We lost. I knew we were here. It's impossible to get away from Ymir with his wall. Best I can do is stall. Nope, it's over. <sighs> That sucks. I really wish I fought a squishy god. Uh, we'll be playing Sylvanas again next game. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.